So it's your self-awareness and besides, each person lives in his own world. Your world of experience builds itself around your self-awareness. I want to put that in the first person have you write it down. My world of experience builds itself around my self-awareness. Together, my world of experience builds itself around my self-awareness. Where's John Davis? I want you to write self-awareness in the center of this blackboard and draw a world around it. There are more than 2,000 of us in here already on a Friday night in church, but yet we're not all in the same world. The person sitting next to you is in a different world from you. But this is what your world is built around, your self-awareness. If you have a self-awareness of poverty, then you live in what? A world of poverty. But you can manipulate this. And this is what we teach in the science of living, in the science of self-awareness, how to manipulate your self-awareness. And this is what the prophet was talking about when he kept saying, let the weak say, I am strong. What is that? Manipulating your self-awareness. Let the poor say, Perhaps it was Brother Shakespeare again who said, if you have, uh, assume a virtue if you have it not. The Apostle Paul again, when he didn't have too much wine, said some very beautiful words. Be not conformed to this world. You don't have to be conformed to the world that you're in. You don't have to. Be you transformed how? By the renewing of your, your mind, your self-awareness. You do not have to knuckle down and buckle down and be bound to the conditions and the circumstances that you're in. You do not have to take part in the world's recession, depression, or unemployment. You don't have to take part. Don't participate. If an epidemic is, go if the, an epidemic is going around in the world of mind, don't participate. If sh shortage is going around in the world and you don't want it, don't participate. Here is money. This is all the only money that there is. Self-awareness. Maybe a very short practice now because I do want this to sink in. I want to, I want to practice with you manipulating your self-awareness. Be not conformed to what you are now. You, you, don't have, you, you should not conform to that. Do not be bound to your present world of affairs. Be a master. Listen closely, I've said this a million times, but I'm going to squeeze it some more because there's some more juice in it. If you want something, the way to get it is to see yourself as the one who has it. The law of mind is to him that hath, to him it shall be given. Now isn't that, it seems cruel until you understand the law of mind. Only those who have will get. And the old song says that them that's got are them that's, that gets. And the sociologists cry out and say that's wrong. The money in the world ought to be redistributed. Wealth ought to be redistributed. No, wealth can never be redistributed equally. All men are equal potentially. But all men are not equal in self-awareness. Yet, all men are equal because basically each person has self-awareness. But all men are not equal in the development of self-awareness. Those people who learn how to manipulate their self-awareness, those people who learn how to use their mind power are the masters. But those people who never learn to use their minds will always be the slaves using their behinds.
And it would be impossible to equalize everybody by saying, by taking all of the wealth, the material wealth in the world, and say giving everybody five dollars. Because by this time tomorrow night, I'd have mine back. The poor would be poor again. Why? Because each individual is governed by his own self-awareness. I want to be tedious because when you go from here, I want you to use this stuff and it's going to work for you. To him that hath, to him it shall be given. You must have what you want in order to get what you want. That's crazy, but write it down. You can only get what you want by having it. You have to have what you want before you can get it. How do you do that? You must have it in your mind. You must have it in your self-awareness before you can get it. That's the meaning of to him that hath. It shall be given. Nothing comes to you but that which already belongs to you. You must possess what you want in your mind first. As a matter of fact, everything that you have now, it was yours before you saw it with the physical eyes. It was a part of your self-awareness. And this is what we're going to do in this treatment now. We're going to make money. We're going to make all good things. We, we're going to buy more now in this meditation and in this prayer than just facts and figures, dollars and cents and good material things. We are going to buy things now that money can't buy. We are going to buy health, happiness, love, success and prosperity. Put your notes away now and change position in your seats. Let's do the closing prayer. Let's go shopping in the marketplace of life itself with the currency of self-awareness. And let's buy unlimited good. Let's buy health. Let's buy happiness. Let's buy success. Let's buy love. Let's buy prosperity. Let's buy knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Place your hands now in the receptive position. And repeat this with me. Right here and right now. I go shopping in the marketplace of life. And my money is my self-awareness. All of the good that I desire, I'm going to buy it with my self-awareness. Right here and right now, I see myself as the one who is being, doing, and having all the good which I desire. I am being, doing, and having all the good which I desire with ease, comfort, joy, and love. I see things coming to me easily. I see myself accomplishing my good with the greatest of ease. No stressing and straining. No pushing and shoving. No manipulating the world. No manipulating other people. No one or no thing can keep my good from me because I see myself with it. I feel my good within my own being. I am full of the feeling and my fulfillment brings forth fulfillment. And now I make love a part of my self-awareness. I see myself loving and being loved in divine order. Divine love in my heart brings me together with all of the right people for every right purpose. The wrong people can't come near me. 
I love myself correctly. And therefore, therefore I am compelled to be right with all others. And all others are compelled to be right with me. I see myself as a healthy person. I see myself as a happy person. God in me is my health. God in me is my happiness. I see myself as a successful person, a prosperous person. I am just thriving. I see my life full of money. In every form and fashion, the getting power of self-awareness is working for me. I feel rich and elegant. I see green. I see my world just filled with money. I see myself enjoying money, using money. There is no end to my enjoyment of money. Money serves me. Thank you, God, in me. Let's stand now. And for the benediction, I'm going to have you bless each other by shaking hands and saying, there is no end to my enjoyment of money. And good night.